feel like a proper vlogger. This is crazy. Okay, so uh, I decided considering I was using the cross tour action camera that it would make some sense to use it outside considering it's meant to be used kind of as rough and tumble. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video. Uh, or the channel, I suppose, and the video. I can, these are confusing when I uh, shoot and edit them, so yeah. So today we're going to be talking about the Cross Tour uh, action camera. Okay, so I quite like this little action camera. Okay, bear with me. I quite like this little action camera. See what I did there? Hey. So I thought the best way to do uh, an action camera review would be to actually show you what it looks like. Uh, so I'm going to kind of flip between my main camera and the, the action camera as the video goes. Thought it'd be a cool little thing and yeah. So, uh, the the action camera, right, it shoots in 1080p, 60 frames, 30 frames a second I think. Uh, that is a fisheye lens on it though. So when you shoot it in the 1080p it gives you the, the fisheye effect. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. It also shoots in 720-60p and 720-30p. So I mean, you've got a little bit of options there. So for the purpose of today's video, I'm using the 720-60p, I think is what I have it set up on. Uh, the reason I do is just to keep everything nice and neat. Uh, there's no point in going from kind of a flat image to uh, a fisheye, like jumping back and forth and stuff. I just, I feel like that would be a real headache because this is going to be a headache anyway. Uh, so yeah. So in the intro I went out to Eden Vale, I used it as an action camera, sort of like a, like a vlog style camera. It's surprisingly light, small and can fit in a lot of places. The, the main things I wanted to test this camera were its microphone, uh, it, obviously it's shoe quality. Um, it has a slow motion feature on it too, which is pretty interesting. I got a couple. I got a shot with that, which is you'll see it all come up. The slow motion will come up over the talking of this, uh, and it's waterproof. Uh, they, those were like the main things I wanted to test. So I got my waterproof shot, which was flawless out in Eden Vale. Great place. Uh, quite liked it. Didn't have the waterproof case with me, so I couldn't exactly get close to it, but. You, you get the picture. Uh, so the camera itself is not actually waterproof. Uh, the casing that it comes in is. So if you're gonna shoot anything that involves water, please use that. that. Don't don't wreck your camera. So this thing cost me just under forty quid, and I actually quite enjoy using it. So there'll be a little sneak peek coming up of my next video that is will be out next week. Uh, I use the action camera for it to give me kind of an overhead look uh, on the unboxing. I haven't done the video for it yet, but you know, just a little sneak peek. Uh, I feel like the biggest uh, thing with this camera is its price point with the accessories you get with it. So in the unboxing, uh, I went through some of the accessories, a lot of mounts, a lot of different things. You get two rechargeable batteries that hold 120 minutes worth of shoot time, which is insane. Uh, it charges with a micro USB, you get one in the box, nice and simple, very, very simple. However, the only thing you don't get with it uh, is an SD card. So it takes a micro SD card, I picked one up in Argos in, in town here for 17 euro and it's a 16 gig so I mean you can get a lot of footage on that and a lot of pictures with that too but I mean by all means only get whatever size you're gonna use there's no point in buying a big massive uh, SD card if you're not gonna fill it like that's that'd just be my opinion I also use this the the, the action camera uh, in a, a couple of podcasts and vlog casts I do uh, that will all be linked in the description and at the, the bottom or the end of the video. So do I actually like, like, they could be like watching this and we're probably going to be looking back and I'm like going... <sighs> yeah. Anywho, <laughs> uh, I have a story to say about work. Oh, you're away. the only things that happen in my life are working and drinking, apparently. Yeah. And I don't drink that much. But please give it a look if you want. Uh, we haven't aired the one we used with the 
camera because it uh, died midway through. Story of my life, everything dies, all my tech dies at some stage or another when I need it to work. So I didn't use the camera all that often, so I just assumed the battery would have had enough juice to do a longer kind of podcast. And it didn't, so I died we, uh, like 15 minutes in or something. And we went on for about an hour. So, it, like, I should have just charged the battery, to be honest. To be fair, you know, sure, what, do you, what can you do? What can you do? So, I mean, for the price point, it's good. It comes with a lot of accessories. Only thing is, it doesn't have memory. That's its biggest concern. Not a big thing to fix, but quite a nuisance until you can get around to getting one of them. But yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, if y'all got something you want me to review or take a look at, hit me up with an email or on Instagram. It will come across the bottom there. Uh, or Twitter. I have a Twitter. I'm not good at Twitter. Uh, but if y'all feel comfortable following me over there and you know, shooting me DMs that way or whatever about stuff you want to see me review. I'll, I'll try to get better at Twitter. So yeah, I'll, I'll throw that one up as well. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya!